This riff will make you want to practice. Number two. Well, I did a, a my first one on this uh, riff will make you want to practice, and the response was overwhelming with you guys really digging it. So I'm going to kind of make a little series title out of this and throw some more of them up. This would be number two of many to come. You want to drop detune in this, so your, your tuning is in standard but string six has dropped a whole step. So if you have a tuner, put that on, lower this down till it says D, okay? It's critical, because it, it, it's a game changer if you don't. Palm muting, I have a little bit of delay on. Gain is on 11. We're gonna palm mute. We're gonna double pick pretty much everything, starting on fret nine on the E, down up to 12 on the D, down up. And then 9A, down up, 10A, down up. That's the first half of the that subgroup. And then 9G, like I said, it's all palm muted until I tell you. Down up, 10D, down up. Eleven G down up, twelve D down up. That's really the hook. Twice of that. Then we're gonna change our position to ten A. Everything's still palm muted and picked twice. Alternate picked. So ten A, eleven G, twelve D. That's down up on each. You see the chord in there. Like if that helps you to see it as a shape. 14G twice. 12G twice. 11G twice. Okay, that concept ends there and we do a little short filler riff. Then we're gonna go. 12G, pull off to 11, so we're not palm muting now. And then down up on 14, 12, D. Okay, um, you can experiment with fingering on this, but it's uh, A7. And I like to leave them down. 7A, 5D, 7G. Back to the palm muting and double pick. Down up. 7A, 5D, 7G, 5D. So it's kind of that Jakey e. Lee style thing, you know? Four G. You want to put a little pinch harmonic on it. Slide it to six, and then upstroke on the six G, and then down up seven G. It's a glist slide, real quick. Six G. Quick slide up to nine G. Up. Eleven D down up. So it's. Isn't that cool? I actually wrote that in a band I was in, the Velma Fix. I used it for a song called Punk This. Is this zoomed? I did that up too close, dang it. So anyways, have fun with that. That's uh, This riff will make you want to practice number two here. And we'll keep them coming, because you guys are loving them. And I'll make sure they're good riffs. You know, some of those riffs that this really speak to you and, and inspire you and, and uh, make practicing fun. I know it's different for everybody. I get that. Um, but these are ones that are inspiring to me. 
and get me in practice mode and, and try to be innovative. Um, so anyways, if you're not a subscriber, be sure to click the subscribe button up there to, on my channel. Um, if you are a subscriber, feel free to make requests. Um, no problem at all. Who knows? I may pick yours next. Just, you know, you never know. The list is monstrous, but I may pick yours. Okay? Especially if it's someone I don't recognize. All right? Um, social media, feel free to add me there as well. Facebook. I do the Facebook Lives on occasion and uh, answer questions for you guys. So that's a good platform from that. for that. I've also got Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. And last thing I want to talk about is my paid services I offer, which um, is guitar and bass lessons on Skype. I got students all across the world and my wife teaches vocals. Um, prior, priority prepaid guitar lessons which is basically the fast pass to get your request on my channel within three days for a fee. And CBT and CT lessons which are handwritten tabs behind the scenes, uh, timestamp, subgrouped, everything's very thorough on them, scanned and sent to your email. That's a CT lesson. CBT is the same thing but it has a video that I upload to the channel. Usually it's a couple videos. It stands for custom tablature and custom video tablature. All right, so have fun with this, and uh, I hope, I really do hope this riff, riff will make you want to practice. Take it easy, and make sure you subscribe and share this stuff.